Okay, what up ladies and gents, it's your favorite Asian robot right here and I will be your favorite Saint content creator. Now I'm here today to teach you guys about something that you guys need to do every single day, okay? This is a daily. Why? Because you only get four opportunities to do this per day. All right, I'm going to talk to you guys about salvage runs. Now, I've already seen misinformation about this. Why? Because content creation is a free business. Anyone, any Tom, Dick and Harry can do it. And a lot of the time people will spread bad information. Number one, as clickbait. Number two, to weaken you because that way you are forced to attend their streams and things to learn more. We do not play that game here. So what I'm going to actually provide you is the accurate information on salvage runs, what they're all about, and why you have to do them daily. Let's first talk about what salvage runs are. Now, as you progress through the PvE stuff, today? through the core ops, master ops, you'll eventually unlock this thing called salvage run. All right. I can't remember which is the requirement because I blazed through this so fast I didn't even think about it. But these salvage runs are have come in three forms. The first one will allow you to grab um, the gun tech chips, all right, for upgrading your gun tech. The second one allows you to grab the runner modules and nano modules for upgrading your codex. And the third one shows gold runner mods, augment materials, and refractive materials. Okay, you can you can do four salvage runs per day, all right, and completing any of these will consume an attempt. But what you don't know about this is that the third salvage run is a trap. The mods are not guaranteed. And in fact, there is a dude that has posted some exploit where you can literally, he's like, he's like, oh, 100% chance of getting a gold mod. Oh my God. But when you actually check out the video, and I actually did, um, I'm now I'm not going to name this person, but just know that he's a total fucking moron. Um, when you actually check the video, what he tells you to do is that if you do not get a mod during your run, you all have four out of the game, you run it, it will not consume your attempt, you go back in again, and you may potentially get a gold mod. This is the dumbest way to get gold mods because let me explain to you as somebody who's actually done most of the content and reached somewhere close to the end. You, basically, you get your gold mods as well as your runner encrypted mods from the master plus ops once you unlock them. This comes after your elite runs and most players aren't even there. So don't even covet the gold mods yet. Don't even think about them. You will get them in master ops plus. You can do two free runs per day. After that, you'll need a coin that you obtain from elite runs. It's so easy to get. All right. And then you can go into the master ops as much as you want. What I am going to highlight to you is that the refractor materials are also obtained from the master plus ops and the augment materials as you know are obtained from the um salvaging of Be easy. salvaging of mods from here if you were to salvage a mod you will oh, sorry if i were to go in here all right and i were to just salvage a mod right now lo and behold i got one augment material and you will get plenty over time as time goes <laughs> Okay, Here's so I hope safe. that I make that clear to you guys that you do not need to be fooled by that. So what Pick should you poison. spend your four salvage runs on? You have four matches per day. What should you spend them on? Um, I will leave the choice in general up to you. Okay, but for me, I prioritize this. Why? This particular thing, the runner modules and the nano modules are I'll a seasonal her. currency. They reset each season. Meaning that you don't keep these things forever. Okay? In case you didn't know, they are seasonal. As far as, as far as I'm aware, they are seasonal. If you take a look within the codex, it says, Every season of Synced introduces a new codex. The codex can be used to upgrade your abilities for the toughest challenges the Meridian has to offer. Unlocking and upgrading modules in the codex will unlock higher tiers, where you can obtain even more powerful upgrades and abilities. That's great, except that runner modules, to get one level in your codex is going to cost you a whole bunch of runner modules. Okay? Upgrading everything in the codex will take time. The fastest way to do this, do your salvage runs. Alright, that is probably the easiest way to get through this without suffering excessively. Okay? And that's just me being very, very honest with you guys. This is how, you know, we do it. This is how... You survive, this is how you get it done. Now, there are a variety of uh, 
codex upgrades modules that you can use. It's, it's really up to you what you want to do in each circumstance. But as you upgrade through this, you will get stronger. So this is why I prioritize it. Of course, there are also upgrades for your nano. These are separate to the upgrades for your runner. All right. So in order to get all of these, you can play missions, but they come What's pretty up? slow. What kind of trouble you so the fastest way that I found to get these runner modules and nano modules is through the salvage runs. So if you ask me what's my choice, I spend all four of my salvage runs on the runner modules. Now, what does a salvage run look like? Let's go into one right now and I'll show you. Okay, now it is not wise to choose the doctor, but I'm just going to use this as an example because I'm too lazy to change my loadout. All right, um, I'm actually using the loadout that I was using for elite runs. Um, FYI, you should probably have different loadouts for different things. I will go through some of my loadouts at a later time. All right. But for now, you know, early game, you don't need to worry too much. Just make sure that you understand the salvage run system. I'm actually going to walk you through it, go through it with you so that you understand what to do and how to do it. All right. So the first thing about the salvage run that you need to understand is that right now we're running the deadly tortoise, right? You will have 12,000 radia that you can use to purchase a variety of stuff, including med kits, armor, all that kind of stuff. I recommend two armor levels. Forget about the rest. Go and grab all these upgrades. Spend the rest on mods. Why? Because for the most part, you really don't need anything else. Oh, and uh, grab the run modifier as well. Reducing max health doesn't matter. You're literally not going to die because everything is so easy in this game. All right. Um, that... I don't really use knockback, so we're just not going to apply that. I grab whatever I think is going to be actually useful. So trigger explosions during knockback. And then once you run out of cash, you can spend the rest on like maybe armor or whatever. And then ready up. Ultimately, you want to grab things that are going to be useful to you. And you will see why we don't need armor during the run. Try to grab as many mods that are actually useful to you based on your build, playstyle, whatever. All right. And then go in. You've got a limited time, so don't waste all your time deciding. Once you've decided, you'll come in here and then start blasting. That's it. All right. Waves will cut. Waves of enemies will come at you. Kill them, slay them, and then grab your nano. Okay. Virtue, how are you? Once you've got your nano, That's now materials one. will Get drop, it. but you will have time at the end to harvest them, so try not to waste too much time on that. Your priority and focus is to kill everything that's in your way. Do you not waste that time. Okay. Now in between your reloads and whatnot, go for it. But don't hesitate to completely wipe out your targets. The faster you kill them, the faster the next wave spawns. And the more waves you kill, the more rewards you get. So, murder, murder, murder. What you get okay. for making mischief? usually what I do. Deadly Tortoise is your friend. And there's plenty of ammo around, so don't sweat it. Alright, you always have ammo to do what you need to do. Snipers are going to be the most annoying thing you'll ever face. Why? Because they literally run away. Alright. So, for the authenticity of the video, obviously I will not uh, fast forward or cut any of this stuff. You can actually see the run as it happens, how it's all done, all that kind of stuff. Why? Because if I, I really don't want to be as bad as the guy it's literally spreading false information to you because that's stupid. Never follow an exploit. I mean, you can if you want to, but um, any game of work salt never does that because number one, it can get you in trouble. Number two, it is very dumb to take a shortcut that way. And besides, the game itself doesn't what force you, you to take the shortcut because, um, you know, had that person actually played the game or actually, you know, advanced past the most basic levels of the game, 
they would have known and figured out that mass drops are where you get the gold mods, encrypted mods, all that kind of stuff. And this is why I don't instantly make build videos unlike some other people, because there's no point in doing that. What's going to happen is that those builds are going to be biased and potentially outdated as well. Um, what I do is I actually construct my stuff and also present stuff as I learn about it, as I get to know about it. And then I apply the knowledge from there and then pass it on to you guys. So, yeah. I like to make sure that I actually know my shit first. So, that's why I'm going to take my time to work on all this and show you stuff bit by bit. Salvage runs I was supposed to cover yesterday, but I ended up really busy, so I didn't do that. But don't worry, because today, I'm here to show you. Alright? I got you, fam. I got you. The longest thing that I have to deal with is the reloads, but... Once that's dealt with, it's pretty okay. Remember that once you get your codex powers, you can also shoot through your nano. So yeah, that's another thing. That's another reason to focus up on all this kind of stuff. Not just being able to reload faster. I can actually shoot through my nano. Get free of my problems. Now, in general, you got to nothing. Make it too easy. Well, if you had, if I had better reload on my LMG, I might be able to do this even faster. It's my only downtime is spend reloading. Sometimes the um, the one downside to the pressure is that you can get stuck in the wrong in the wrong zone. But if you get stuck having to deal with the, with uh, one over there, the wave doesn't spawn. This is why I actually hope that uh, the salvage runs would allow more waves to spawn just continuously. You know, it should be on a timer so that if we if we manage to last the full five shocking. minutes, we should be able to hit the full run. But yeah. At the end, after after you've done everything, you'll get your rewards, okay? Here we go. And you'll be able to collect all this. Sometimes it's a bit of luck as to how fast you can progress through your waves. Basically, you need all the stuff that just helps you AoE through your enemies as soon as possible. This is why I tend to focus on the suppressor if I have to do a salvage run properly. But yeah, this is also for demonstrated purposes. So after that, that's it. Five minutes are done. The run ends, whatever wave you've finished off at stops there, and you just go back to Haven, get your reward, and then you do it all again. So that's about it. Make sure you do your salvage runs every day. If you do not do your salvage runs daily, you are going to encounter problems because you can only do four per day. They are a huge booster. There is a lot to upgrade in the codex for this season. A season only lasts 90 days. That's three months. It sounds long. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's probably, although it lasts long, it's going to go by in a snap. Especially if you're somebody like that works, goes to school. Basically, if you're any normal human being, you know, if you're a neat, then there's, you know, nothing I can do to stop you. But, um, but I can tell you that if you're a normal human being with responsibilities and whatnot, like you see this one, they give you the runner, runner modules and about half the nano modules. It's okay, I mean, it's still as decent as it's gonna get, you know, and you use that constantly to upgrade your codex. So basically, this is how I get all my stuff, and this is how I upgrade all my all my shenanigans. All right, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please, please do your salvage runs every day. Just complete the four salvage runs. It doesn't take long. It's roughly half an hour, and it is a daily, so just make sure you do that. Get your other four the next day. It will not only help you progress super fast, but give you a lot of additional powers, which can really, really, really drastically help you out in the actual game. Okay? Thank you very much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoy my content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to support my content further, I highly encourage you to come to the streams, drop super chats, drop tips. You can send whatever you want, and it would be very, very helpful to me as a content creator because that is how we keep our channel running and if you do that right you get a shout out in every video 
In fact, we are going to shout out some of the people that have been doing all of this amazing stuff for us. September's big week supporter goes to Big Chungus for the top tipper spot. Top super chatters, King Anubis and Holdidaki. Our top super chat list also contains River Archer 124. We also have our top channel membership gifter, Nightshade. Thank you so much. All right. In terms of our channel members. Oh, and one more thing. We now have blurps on stream. You can play those. All right. And our top blurper right now is Big Chung, because I don't think anyone's going to dethrone him. But come on and play some blurps if you like. They are a cheap, fun way of not only supporting your favorite creator, but making my stream hilarious with all these random sound effects. All right. Starting with the top channel members as well, Big Chungus at the only fan level. We have Death Dawning 982 at Plus Ultra. We've got Jerry Fast, OG, Rogue Assassin, Zach MG at Prestige. Thank you oh so much for everything. All right. In terms of our honored robots, we've got Corey Ryu, Kaishiwa, Bob John, Cube, Devin Lashin, Muki Mocha, Rena, Chase Taylor, Nathan Strong, Nightshade, Lady Neo, Joey Danze, Che D12, Sayed Asad, Kota CMF, Kami SMH, Conrad C, and Benjamin Savage. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to all of our cool and weird bots as well. We are going to rock on and carry on soon. All right? You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for supporting my content. I'll see you guys on the next one, okay? Y'all have a good one, and I hope you enjoyed the authentic information in this.